All right. Hi, Mel. How are you? Hi, I'm fantastic. Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you for being here. I'm going to do a little intro in the blog so that, you know, everybody gets to know who you are. Um, but just in terms of like our personal relationship, I love, I'd love to like talk a little bit about that. Um, we both met through our business coach, right? Dallas, um, Travers. And also, um, yeah. And I love, 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 love what you do. Of course, you know, you're in the entertainment industry as most of the people who are following me and you know in the things that I do as well and then also um in the you know in my past career as a <laughs> TV producer <laughs> um yeah so tell me well tell me a little bit about like how you even got into the you know entertainment industry and and being a casting director oh it's a cat mistake like all of it's a mistake. <laughs> I, I, like, I don't, it, it really honestly is. I went to school for marketing. Um, <laughs> yeah. I was like waiting tables in South Florida and somebody was like, oh, you'd be great in commercials. And so I started just like, I was like, well, I guess I need to get into an acting class. I really didn't know what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So I got in an acting class and they were like rolling around the ground. I'm like, I, this is the only one around, you know, in Davie, Florida. And so I was rolling around for like a year. And then, um, you know, slowly but surely, I started to take workshops with casting directors. It was like when they first came out, you know, late 90s. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I, I really booked as much as I could in that area. And then I took a workshop with Mark Hirschfeld, head of NBC at the time. And he said, hey, I'm going to, why don't you fly out to LA? I'll help you get an agent. I think you could book a pilot. And so I was like, great. You know, I was like living in this like very thank god you're here by the way for actors money wise because <laughs> i was like in a little teeny apartment like i wish i would have had you back then so i just kind of scrapped everything moved to la i didn't know anybody mm -hmm. and signed with this big fancy agent and um hit the ground running and within that my agent had introduced me to an acting teacher mm -hmm. and so i ended up sticking with her and in class i was like i cannot wait tables anymore you know, and this guy in my class is like, Hey, my wife works for this casting director, you know, maybe you could help them out this weekend. So I met Liz Paulson over at Liz Paulson casting, which is now Mel and Liz casting. And so Liz really trained me. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I worked for Liz for about seven years. So I was able to meld, you know, the acting background with that. And I was still acting like I still book work, but I'm not active about it. But I, I know I, I kind of am that trifecta. Mm. You know, I have the acting experience. I have the casting experience. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, I also wrote a book for actors. So I, I kind of have that whole, um, I don't know, shebang, I guess. Yeah. What made you also want to now shift over into really helping actors understand this process as a coach, as a mentor? Why did you want to make that switch? What really made me make the switch to wanting to help actors is when I first, when I moved to New York from LA. So I actually was in Vietnam and I cast a commercial in Vietnam for the salad <laughs> company while I was living there. I like quit the industry for a hot second. And I was like, I got to get out of LA um, and go back home to New York. And in the meantime, I yeah, cast this commercial, which was very exciting and also very different. And when I came to New York, I was like, wow, it was, it was such a contrast between New York and LA, because it was mostly theater people that we were seeing in the room for, I work in commercial casting. I mean, we, we also do indies and other kind of casting occasionally. And I said, you know what, I think I could really help actors learn how to transition from the stage to TV for television and film and commercials. Mm -hmm. Because again, the teacher that I worked with or that I took class with, I was also in her TA program. And then I also um, started to teach for her, started to TA with her. So I really had that solid background for television and film. Mm, that's and it was so great. I'm, yeah, it was just, I just was like, hey, let's give it a whirl. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And what I, I, I always think that it's so valuable to actually get coached by someone who um, 
understands the other side of it, right? Like you, you know, as a casting director, you've seen all of the tapes that come in and, you know, and then before self tapes, you were in the audition rooms with them, you know, seeing actor upon actor come in for different roles. And so you have such a, you know, experience and wisdom behind it. Uh, what do you see as like one of the number one things that, you know, when somebody comes in the door and they're like, you know, trying to audition and trying to do, you know, trying to make it, trying to get the role. What do you see as like a, a, a huge thing that, you know, you would love to just share with them and tell them like, you know, this is, this is what you need to know. <laughs> uh, you know, I think the number one thing I tell my actors is confidence goes a long way. And that's kind of, that's tied into a whole ball of wax, right? Like if you don't, if you're not good at cold reading, if you're not good at getting off book quickly, if you don't know your type, if you don't, if you just don't know who you are when you walk into a room, you're always going to try to fit into somebody else's box. And that's not what, that's not what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. We honestly aren't right. We're looking for somebody, a personality Yes, talent, of course. But if you're coming into the room, like everybody's at that level, right? Yes. So now we're looking at like, hey, can we work with this person? Can we be on set with this person? Do they execute the direction? Do they understand who they are and how they're presenting? And that it's a business. Yes. It's not just craft. You know, so yes. I always say that in class, craft plus business equals success. Right. Perfect. I mean, this is something that I noticed when I was a director of development and then a vice president in development. I would sit with casting sometimes, you know, when we had different shows and things going on. And um, and what I noticed is, yeah, everybody comes in, everyone has the same script, right? So they're reading the same lines. And the person who would get it or get, grab our attention was always somebody who, one, had a very different energy about them, knew who they were, and then two, brought something to the table, right? They brought their own special uniqueness to that role, to that particular, you know, script that it, it was just undeniable for us to say, yes, we're going to invest in this person, right? Like, and as a money coach, it's like, you know, it's so important that you become the person that become that, that somebody can really invest in and say, like, yes, I'm going to put my money behind you, right? And and know that you're going to deliver for us, right? A hundred percent. The biggest thing I hear from actors, like on Instagram, a lot of times, you know, I'll do a video, and the biggest thing, you know, well, I don't know what casting wants. Neither do we. <laughs> you know, if you think about it, we have a story to go by, we have a character breakdown and commercials, we have a board. So mm -hmm. we're, we're putting together a casting based on that information. I'm sure you've seen it from that side, you know, from your side as well. Mm -hmm. So again, you're right. Everybody has the same script. Everybody's walking in. So I know the story, the writer knows the story, the director knows the story. So what is your spin on it? And it's mm -hmm. not like tricks. I always tell actors, I'm like, there's no big trick to this. Mm -hmm. It is about being confident with your choice and bringing how you would be in this situation and also within the confines and honoring that story. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So when this interview comes out, you would have just completed a, you know, your master classes on, right. yeah, on three mistakes that you've seen, right, with actors and how to really help actors to kind of, um, you know, get into the room and get going. One of the things that I've seen over and over again, something that I keep hearing, especially this year in my groups is that, they want they want to be able to have those the opportunity to even like be able to book right it's not even just about like yes of course they want to book more but it's also about getting the opportunities to book more what would you say to somebody who was was talking about that and really wanting those opportunities more how would they you know help themselves I'm going to go off of my experience. So mm -hmm. for me as an actor and the, because again, I didn't have a map, right? 
Like, that's why I have an actor game plan for actors. I'm like, why didn't anybody, why wasn't nobody, nobody was doing this, right? <laughs> so, you know, when it comes to what I would tell an actor, how to get more opportunities, this might be wrong, spoiler alert, uh, because it's investment, casting director workshops. And so there's, I know there's a thing, people are like, it's pay to play for me. It's an investment. I worked an extra shift, extra shift as a waitress because I, it was all fine and dandy. People can send me emails. I've had people send me lovely emails uh, to the casting office, but I don't know you. I only mm -hmm. have your reel and I have your headshot. It's great. We take risks on people at house casting. That's why I love working there, mm -hmm. but you know, it's, it's a small business and we, I am much more confident if I've seen you before. Mm. And, you know, I built a, a pretty good steady acting career on my own because I invested in those workshops and they're not to teach you, you know, they're not mm. there as teachers. You got to bring your A game mm. to those because you're showing up in front of casting and we're looking at you like, Number one, are you showing up professionally? Are you making strong choices based on your type? Is your marketing in line? Do you know who you are, right? And what do you bring into the table that's going to make me want you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Absolutely. And it's not like anything. It's There's no bells and whistles to it. Yeah. That's such a good point about, you know, that you don't know them and then being in a workshop with you helps you to get to know them. Right. And it's the same thing as your, as an actor's agent or manager, right? You can have an act, you can have an agent or manager. And if they don't really know you very well, they're not going to sell you in a good way either. Right. So I think it's the same yeah. thing. And then I always say that like when I was in the entertainment industry for 15 years, I had never got a job by just applying for something. I always got it through somebody else, like a relationship. So I know that that's how every part of this business works in that way is like relationship, relationship, relationship. Right. And so being in the room with you, having you get to know them and their work, and then for you to go, oh, I get who this person is. And then to be able to set them up for success for future roles is actually really, really smart. Well, think about it. So if you, you, Katie, right? You're, I've never met you before. Mm -hmm. Your agents reached out and said, Hey, Mel, guess what? Um, we just signed somebody new. We'd love for you to check them out. We think that they're great for this role that you're currently casting. Great. Let's, let's see them. I'm getting a feel for who you are when I'm watching your self tape mm -hmm. audition. Mm -hmm. Right. So we put, it's like agents and managers and you, I'm sure you know this from the producer side. If, if nobody really knows you, it is a huge risk we're yes. taking because we're, we're all we're getting is face value so we're seeing you this one time we're hoping right that you book the job that you're not going to be late that you're not going to be a jerk on set that you're going to be off book and be prepared and that you're going to be cool to work with because if you're not it comes back on us mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. like too many stories i've had from actors where i'm like this is a business like we're, we're like risking a lot to, to get you to that step. So please just don't, mess it up. <laughs> right. right. And actors, and I don't mean walk on eggshells. I mean that confidence I'm talking about. I have so many actors like get it backwards. Like I just want an agent. I'm like, but you don't know anybody. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows you. Mm -hmm. So it's a double-edged sword. Mm -hmm. And again, it's business. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right? Yep, absolutely. I always, I have a friend who um, works a lot actually. And, um, you know, he would, yeah, he's considered a working actor, right? Like you probably don't know him by name or face. However, um, you know, he, he definitely books a lot of roles. And, um, and one thing I think I asked him one time, like what he thought was one of his secrets. And he said something like, I, you know, I think I'm really good in the room. And what he meant by that was that he would be really like, he would start to form these relationships with casting directors, 
right? And so th- th- he became like a favorite. And every time like some role would come up where they kind of needed a generic person like him, <laughs> you know, um, he would get the call. He would usually get the call, you know, to come in and do something, right? Because he, you know, he was very well liked. And I and I can see that, right? Like he's one of those people that's like very magnetic and, you know, um, and, you know, really makes you want to get to know him and and be you know be his friend in a way so I also see that as a plus right like you know and that's part of what you're saying too is like you getting to know these actors right like being in a workshop with you being you know working with you it's like you get to know who they are even more as people right and that that also helps too yeah I mean for me, it shouldn't be a difference when you, when you turn the camera on to do a self tape, mm. right? Like, and I've had directors that I'll work that we, I've worked with before, and like in the Zoom callback room where they'll say, um, at the end, it's really cool. We always work with this one director, and he's great. He does a lot of film. He does a lot of um, comedic film, but he loves to do commercials when he's not uh, working on film. Mm-hmm. And one of the things I took away from working with him over the years is he's like. I always look to see if between when I'm talking to them, when they come in the room and their slate, if it's seamless or if it's like, Hey, 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 Katie, I'm Melanie Mack or Hey, Hey, Katie, I'm Melanie Mack. Right. So Mm -hmm. it's it's like so interesting. Like I look for that now, like it's such Mm -hmm. a great thing that I will like share with actors like, Hey, try it, Mm -hmm. you know, how that works out. See how that works out for you. Oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah, I feel I feel like um, that what you're saying, com- booking the room is confidence. Your job isn't to book the job. It's to book the room. There's too many factors that mm. are at, at play that you just don't have control over. Mm-hmm. You know, and if you get called, um, it's funny, I coached four actors today for the same new show, totally different roles, totally different episodes, every single one has been in for this office before. And so for me, before the coaching, I was like, you know what that means, right? And all of them are like, what, what? (laughs) They're like, wait, what, what? And I'm like, you built a fan. The fact that they're casting a new show, a brand new show, season one, and you got called back into a room. I was, because I look at their history. I'm like, they called you in twice already last year. Hmm. And sometimes I think as actors, like, it's so important to remember those wins because for us on the casting side, there's a thousand people that submit for your role, mm. a thousand people. Mm. And you got that audition. Mm-hmm. And if you didn't, then you got to get out there and, and have people know you. Mm. That's because, so powerful. Yes. Because we, need you. we totally need you. And if we don't, and actors will ghost us, we mm-hmm. get ghosted. It's like dating. I'm like, wait, where did that <laughs> Where'd that actor go? Like, I haven't heard from them. You know, we, I like when actors don't send me a long, huge Santa list of an email, but like, hey, Mel, just did this. Great. I might have something that came across my desk and it's perfect for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I wanted to share. But but get to know you first, right? Not just randomly, like without you you ever getting to know them, like start sending you stuff, right? Or I've had people blind submit. Mm -hmm. And again, Mm -hmm. if you don't know yourself, you're writing this like diatribe that I just not going to read because I don't know you. Right. So you got to hook me. Still business. You still got to hook it. Right. Yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh. This is so great. Right. Like I think anybody who's watching this right now, like just from this very short bit that you were talking about, like really understands, oh my God, you have so much knowledge and, and uh, experience and there's so much that you can teach, you know, um, actors in how to do this, you know, how to do this work so that you get more of those opportunities and you can um, get more bookings and, you know, and really thrive in this career because, you know, it's tough. It's not an easy career for sure. You know, it's probably one of the toughest because you're always facing a lot of rejection and criticism and those kinds of things. However, if you love this work, this is what it takes to kind of get you to that next level, right? Is to really take advantage of these opportunities to work with a real casting director, you know, somebody who's actually doing this, you know? So 
Will you just, you know, while we're wrapping this up is like, you know, tell me one thing that you would want actors to kind of take away from, or if, if they can like, um, really learn something from your workshops or like, you know, even the master classes that just ended, you know, something that where they can, um, reach out to you or, you know, come and work with you. How do, how do they do that? How did, how do they come and work with you? Yeah. Uh, first of all, just come say hi on Instagram, mm. like hop on over DM me. You know, I'm a, I'm a very open person. Uh, I'm here to help actors because I did not have that help. I had to really navigate it on my own and it was very stressful for me. So Melmac acting studio over there, I made a whole bunch of free videos on YouTube for people mm. to check out and comment always happy to make a new video to answer people's questions because I would want that as an actor. So that's Melmac Acting Studio. We have a Facebook group that you can join from the casting room on Facebook. So I'm, I'm there as well, hanging out, asking some questions. Um, and you can also check out our website, melmacactingstudio.com. We got pretty great freebies. I was very conscious during COVID as a casting director, I panicked. I was like, oh my God, I have to put a class together for self tapes because I'm seeing what's happening in the room mm -hmm. and I'm still seeing it. You know, I have quite a few conversations on a weekly basis with agents and managers and I'm like, all right, well, here's a, here's a solution, you know? Um, mm -hmm. So I think that's the best way I did. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Yeah. That so definitely one of the, for your community, one thing I wanted to just share quickly um, I did the uh, South by Swe South by Southwest actor conference last year and I met this guy and he was he happened to show up when I was doing the opening and um he was just this cool kid right and he's confident he's comfortable in his skin we hung out and we chatted for maybe like 10 minutes right I get back to New York and I can't remember how it went down I want to say he emailed me because I said to all actors, email me, you know, here's, here's my email address. Here's a freebie. You have any questions? Let me know on Instagram. So it was either Instagram or he emailed the office. He happened to live in New York and just said, you know what? I'm going to bite the bullet and I'm going to go meet all these people at this conference from LA, New York, and the Midwest. I'm going to spend the money. I'm into acting. I've, I have my own things that I've been doing. I don't know what to do next. So he really took a risk. He stayed the weekend, flew out there, right? Got a hotel. Um, when he came back, we decided to work together. And we happened to be doing a SAG national commercial. And I'm like, he is perfect for this role. In the meantime, he ended up um, signing with this agent that I met in Arizona. <laughs> so I got to communicate with that agent. Hey, we got a great role for him, even though he's in New York. Right? That's the beauty of the virtual world. Mm -hmm. And um, even though he didn't get it, it was a very short time period. So when your community is like, how do I get up more opportunities? You create them and you take a risk like that. Because now he's got an agent. He's already, we already know him and, and he's already going up against SAG actors and he's non-union. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't mm -hmm. really have anything in his resume. Mm -hmm. So that's how you, right? Yes. Absolutely. That is so cool. And you're actually offering a chance for my community to, to get a, um, get a little bit, even though get, get the replay on the masterclass, right? <laughs> the replay. Yeah. Yes. The replay. Awesome. Please, 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 please. Awesome. 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 So good. Um, I'll put all of the details in the notes or in the actual, um, blog post. And, yeah, um, perfect. so they'll have all of the details. So oh, thank you. Thanks. I Thank you so that. much for being here, Mel. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And I'm so, um, yeah, I'm so happy to get to, to know you and to call you my friend. And, you know, um, you're really, really doing a lot of great work to help, you know, actors to, to make more bookings and to have more opportunities. So thanks. Sure. And right back at you, you're helping people invest their money, actors like learning how to invest their money so that they can have longevity. And they have peace of mind. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. Awesome. Okay, I'll see you later. <laughs>